the members of the European Parliament, the esteemed guests, uh, the ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to welcome you all to this important meeting uh, focusing on newborn screening and familial hypercholesterolemia, later named FH pediatric screening. And I'm very pleased that it is an accompanying event of the current Slovenian European Council presidency. A disease is considered rare when it affects less than one person in 2000. Also, individual rare diseases are rare, their cumulative burden is substantial. In uh, 2018, Slovenia expanded its newborn screening program. Further development is now planned and in the near future, Slovenian newborns will be screened for over 40 congenital diseases. Despite rapid technology developments, newborn screening programs significantly differ between European countries. FH, on the contrary, is the most common genetic condition in the world. It has, however, a very rare and severe form. This genetic variation affecting one of 250 to 300 Europeans incre increases levels of harmful cholesterol in their blood to life treating levels. When undiagnosed and untreated, it uh, leads to cardiovascular diseases at any early age with premature heart attacks and death being a frequent outcome. Less than 10% of Europeans and 5% of children in Europe have been diagnosed. Hence, among many, it is mistakenly considered as a rare. This means also that available treatments do not reach the vast majority of people affected. Pediatric FH screening, or simply put routine cholesterol testing in children, is therefore a crucial to help affected people living with this genetic condition, which is inherited by children from their parents. As a health professional by background, I'm very proud that the FH screening program in Slovenia is seen as a model throughout Europe, a best practice that may be replicated in other countries. This is why we are here to explore today with uh, foremost experts, policymakers, and crucially, representatives of patients and citizens. And I want to underline that my country stands ready to help other countries developing their FH screening programs, which may be able to lean on our experience here. This is the essence of European collaboration, solidarity, and shared learning. To prevent growing disparities, a pan-European expert group needs to be established. It should bring together policymakers, medical experts, and patients organizations, and would advise member states on design and implementation of their early childhood screening programs. I would like to invite the European Commission to explore the options to support such an expert group. My hope is that the results of this technical meeting will help to ensure many more European patients and citizens being diagnosed earlier. This will assure their ability to live longer and significantly reduce the financial and human burden of FH and rare diseases. Importantly, FH pediatric screening may also become a model for other working in the wider cardiovascular disease community as we see increasing recognition of CBD as a major public health issue. I wish you an excellent working meeting today. Thank you. Thank you very much to our Minister of Health, Dr. Joze Kuplukar, and thank you all for joining us this morning. First, uh, let me say a very warm welcome from our local organizing committee, which includes Foremost, Professor Urg Groschel, who is currently a visiting professor at Stanford in California. And then our medical student, Jaka Shikonia, who did an enormous job in organizing and communicating with all of you and with us during the last weeks. And then Mr. Matej Tarpin from the Ministry of Health. And uh, obviously, all other people from our institution, the 
uh, University Children's Hospital and uh, our Faculty of Medicine. The event is part of the new is part of the presidency to the European Union from our country, for which I would like to thank the committee in the Ministry of Health for enlisting all this uh, uh, e event and all these lectures into their very busy schedule. So sincere thanks for their understanding and support. Obviously, the most important constitutive parts of this meeting are the groups that are presenting today, particularly the Eurodis, Eurodis as a, as a core organization, the European FH Patient Network, International Patient Organization for Primary Immunodeficiencies, International Society for Newborn Screening, and many others who help these organizations and associations to really prepare what is, what is on our schedule today. As mentioned by our Ministry of Health, Dr. Pokluka, what we would really like is to bring our newborn screening closer to a kind of uniformity and particularly to be a more connected and intercommunicative uh, endeavor in the European Union. We will start with the presentation from the president of International Society for Neonatal Screening, uh, Professor James Bonham. And I listened to one of his lectures recently, and I really remembered his, his take home message stating that likely the most important thing we have in our newborn screening progress in Europe is trust from people. And I, I really think a lot about his statement and I, I tend to agree perfectly that the trust from people that are willingly without a formal informed consent, subduing their newborn children to this screening is obviously the most important part of what we are doing and also a sign, a sign of a common success in this hugely important endeavor. National experience will be presented. Italy, France, Slovenia, Germany, Sweden, Czech Republic, and Southeastern Europe by respective experts. And all this will be focused to gain a more, a more uniform screening program and perhaps find ways to help those that are less fortunate in the screening development to, to, to be faster in the development of those programs. And then we will have the stakeholder contribution, Screen for Rare, a European Union joint stakeholder initiative on neonatal screening. It is the ISNS, IPOPI, ESID joint initiative. And Johan Prevo, the executive director, will discuss this point. And then the views of people living with rare diseases. 11 key principles presented by Jan Lee Cham, the chief executive officer of Eurordis, the rare disease Europe. And then the role of ERN, European Reference Networks, Maurizio Scarpa, who is the coordinator of the metabolic ERN. And then the MBS, a, a MBS newborn screening, a EU matter, presented by a member of the European Parliament, Mr. Manuel Pizarro. It will have a short break and then a discussion that hope will be live, lively and will include all stakeholders and perhaps bring us closer to a perhaps a document, a white paper on newborn screening programs in the European Union. After a little bit longer break, the second part of the event will be on another topic. It's also a screening but it's a screening for a single inborn disease that perhaps is not even that rare when you screen for it. And this is familiar hypercholesterolemia. We will, we will hear the best experts. We will start with two patient stories with Veronique Schall and Charlotte Lametier. And then welcome from the FH Europe, 
by Magdalena Dacor, the chief executive of FH Europe. And then there will be a time for digital transformation and implications for familiar hypercholesteremia screening by Mark Boris Adrianic, Minister for Digital Transformation from Slovenia. It is an important endeavor. There is no good screening platform without the IT support that is preferably linked directly to the National Registry for Rare Diseases. And then the wider context, cardiovascular disease landscape in the European Union and the need for innovation. And then finally, FH pediatric screening, a global perspective where Professor Samuel Gidding will be the speaker and will inform us on the latest actions. Also here, we will have an overview of the best practices. We will have a global registry discussion by Kamika Dayamayat. And finally, we will have the discussion after the action plan presented by Professor Albert Wigman, the scientific advisor, FH Europe. So here again, the discussion perhaps will bring us closer to a white paper, to a pan-European, and perhaps even a wider consensus on how to screen. So once again, thanks to everybody. It was a big endeavor, and I am really grateful. It was a pleasure observing all this vivid communication in the last weeks. Thank to the local organizing committee chaired by Professor Urg Groschel and all his, his help, and I I'm looking forward to every lecture and every word that will be spoken today and sincerely hope that we will be closer to a consensus, to a uniform view on the neonatal screening program in our first part of the program, and then on the familiar hypercholesterolemia screening program in the second part of the program, both of them for the benefit of people that are born with a rare disorder or disease. Thank you very much for your attention and please let the meeting start.